Hey there, creepers, creepettes, and all you other creatures tonight. Welcome back to the finale of Clock Tower. Don't jinx us like that. To the revenge of the scissormen cometh. <laughs> Again. Sounds yeah. like a bad porno title. But yeah, the, it, the recording, like, we it was almost sunrise with the episode, you know, when we stopped recording last. And so this is a new recording session. You know, so Bizarre didn't get turned into a monster. He's not trapped in the attic for all eternity. Turned into a monster? Well, you're not a monster. You're something else. <laughs> that is true. I am something else. I'm an undead cryptid. You are unknown. <laughs> I am question mark. But since this is a new recording session, I've started off right away with uh, the uh, home edition of Games in the Attic. Those participants, uh, feel free to join in. And no strave. Cheers. Creepy has, from the sound of things, already gotten a head start on everybody. Oh, I always do. I never stop. I mean, technically, so. Mm. Uh, so, uh, hey, buddy, what are you doing in here with all these bones? Well, apparently we're just going to get the ending we're going to get to get. Nolan. Hey, buddy. You're alive. Nolan North, what are you doing here among the bones? Scissor man attacked us and everyone scattered. Everybody says Ryan Reynolds is the best Deadpool, but let's face it, buddy. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Nolan, he, you've hurt your leg. I mean, don't get me wrong, Nolan is great. Just but I like him as Deadpool more than I do, well, I hate to be the 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 outman on this. No, you don't. You love being the outman on everything. But dude, I'm no but not always. Um, you are a self described counterculturalist. No, I'm a subculturalist. There's a difference. Not counterculturalist. Subculturalist. Although counterculture does be, happen to fall under the subtext of subculture, but it's not the entirety of it. Oh my god, no! It's like that scene in Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all we all ability. fucking saw them. You lost the communication ability to use words. I didn't. I didn't see that coming. That was glorious. <laughs> so many. Man, them bones, them bones, them dry bones. Am I right? <laughs> You're right, that was so natural and not at all forced. <laughs> that's what I was going for, the most forced, like, a natural laugh ever. You mean your laugh? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Sounds like you to me. Oh, look at this guy. He's got jokes. No. <laughs> Uh, I'm so lost now. Like I panicked and ran, and you're so lost without you. Do you notice if you flip the you who can upside down? It says, "Oi, ooh, <laughs> oi, ooh, oi, ooh." This it? Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. It's pretty great. I can't help it. <laughs> it's funny. It's like the Nike Swish, but funnier. Because if you get the night, if you flip the Nike Swish upside down, you get a nice, delicious pack of menthol cigarettes. <laughs> Did I spit on you? A little bit. I'm sorry. I'm falling apart here. Yeah, I'm well aware. So, who are these portraits of? Uh, I'm guessing members of the Burroughs family. Ooh. The previous scissormen. It's like they hand down like these shielded, these gilded like hedge clippers. Oh, there's only been like two scissormen. Well, three. 
Wait, wait. There was a Scissorman before these two Scissormen? Yes. Who was the original Scissorman? Some barrows or other. With the real Scissorman, please stand up. God damn it. <laughs> oh. What'd you do? I unrusted the hinges. Like with an oil can? Yes. Ooh, a uh, treasure box. I, I hope shouldn't. there's not a scissor man inside. There's gonna be. <laughs> Bats! Well, at least they're polite and close the door after they do a jump scare. Right? What the fuck? What do we do? These know. bats don't want us to open this box. We need a boomerang. I've played Zelda. We're just gonna, instead we're just gonna climb inside this this tube. The original Scissor Man. A mummified Scissor Man. He's pretty old. A key. You now have the box key. You now have the box cutter. Cut open Scissorman and look for the dreams within. <laughs> now can we open the box? Wow. How do those bats keep opening that door then? I don't know. Will they do it again? All right, obviously oh, God damn it. <laughs> we don't get this treasure. These bats are jerks. Can we, like, pull a gun? Oh, no. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! I hear the sound of danger. He's here. The scissors come for us. I hear the the hedge clippers. Oh, we're gonna die. Throw a box at him. Oh, use the door. We no, can I fall out the door. I literally can't use any of that. Oh no! Well then, punch him. No. Keep him in the jimmy. No, we're gonna die. Yep, ah. there it is. Because I got hit by the bats too many times. That's such bullshit. Three bats. Three bats. But it'll continue. It's like when we came in this room before you got the three bats. We just don't open that chest. Right? Or is that like supposed to be a step? No, as far as I know, it's not part. It's not a step. Yo, listen up. Here is a story of a girl named Jennifer being pursued by a pervy guy with little scissors. <laughs> They're big scissors. Let's face it. They're big. They're very scissors. Very big scissors. He's overcompensating. But then again, he is like in third grade. No, I think this time he's just hunched over from the looks of things. And was born a year ago. Yeah. I'm still trying to wrap my head around that part. <laughs> That's the part you're having difficulty with. Well, huh? yeah, I'm not having trouble, like, wrapping my head around, like, the, the age dating in different cultures. I'm having trouble wrapping my head right around how a creature that was birthed from a amorphous large male monster. What the fuck? Basement. <laughs> Stop it! Oh, I cut it out! Don't poop in my hair! Uh, okay. <laughs> now I use the rope on the door. <coughs> on the door. <coughs> Can't breathe. But you don't breathe anyway, creepy. Oh, that's right. It's fun to pretend. You found a girl! <laughs> Dude, let me see if I'm out of it, treasure box. Like there's something to shake inside. Are you alright? <laughs> yes, but my head hurts a little. Wait, I just pulled you out of a chest and you're alright. This, yeah. bi this bitch is like fortitude. Steel. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, no, I get kidnapped and pushed into a box like Princess Toadstool every other week. <laughs> this is like a normal occurrence for us blondes. <laughs> <laughs> you being a filthy brunette would never understand, would you, Jennifer? 
<laughs> wow, you're just all all aboard the hate Jennifer train, huh? No, it's filthy brunettes. This uh -oh. is a joke. It's like, uh oh, this, he's coming for us. He is. Yes. He wants to put scissors in your butthole and go. Woo! Why my butthole though? That's I don't know. That's Scissor Man. He's the one with the fetish. Or we can do this. Nope, not this time. Oh no! But the door's open, right? I think. Yep. Haha! <sighs> -ha. Now make him trip in the bone. That one skull's like, hi, I'm Murray, take me with you. No, don't leave me. <laughs> Shout out to Murray, the talking skull. He's one of my favorite talking skulls of all time. You do always go back to Murray. Murray's classic. <laughs> if y'all don't know who Murray is, he got his origin from a monkey's, uh, a monkey island game. Secret monkey island, yeah. And, uh, I incorporated him into my first Dungeons and Dragons campaign way back when I was 20 years old from Among the Living. Mm. And, uh, he's a, he's a gem. He's just an absolute delight. He's one of my favorite NPCs I've ever played. He always wants booze. But if you just give him an empty bottle, he won't know the difference. <laughs> so... Because he's a skull. <laughs> yeah. He's all like, I'll stride into hell carrying your head on a pike. It's like, stride? Fine, I'll roll. Roll into hell carrying your head on a pike. <laughs> all right, Morty. Murray. In my in my DD campaign, though, he was Captain Murray. Oh, man, I'm really just battling all while we are running for our lives. Yep. Well, it's like uh, that, that's that's like our that's like your thing. Well, that's like now we're in the library. Oh, can we make him read a book and get teleported to a, a faraway land in his imagination? <laughs> uh... <laughs> no, not in the library, please. Anywhere. I'm scared of books. <laughs> No, he's still coming for us. I know, I'm trying to see if there's anything in here I can use against him. Oh no. But the scissors are growing louder. Oh, I know, I can hear it. Penis, 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 penis. <laughs> Maybe that confused him. That's not the room. Probably not. Alright. Can we drop down? Oh, nice. Too late now, bitch! Uh-oh. I'm gonna catch. Yep, there it is. Ah! Uh, oh. Is this a catchy little tube? Uh-huh. I'm gonna take a shot now. Mm. Did you enjoy that drink? Listen thing? up, this is the story. Because I have a confession to make. I poisoned your, your drink. But I poisoned yours. As well. No! <laughs> All you motherfuckers here at City Hall, you're fucking it up for the people that's in the streets. Oh shit. Oh, but, oh shit. Oh, oh, now that joke has to be covered up. <laughs> nah, it's fine. No. Can't believe I missed the Tenacious D joke. I'm a little ashamed to show Wait, you can just myself. do it in editing and post. Bones! Them bones, them is dry bones. <laughs> the hip bones connected to the leg bone. The leg bones connected to the ham boning. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I am beyond goofy right now. I've been dealing with a lot of real life drama. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, truth be told. It's hard to, I, I, if I'm not as funny as usual, uh, it's because my grandmother uh, got reincarnated. 
she's uh she got brought back to life, resuscitated, so she's no longer an undead creature like me. Uh, and is uh slime is with Papa now. Ah. Uh, d- jokes aside, uh, my, my grandmother passed away. Uh, my grand eyeglasses. And she was a fucking cool ass lady. She uh, there's a picture of her modeling in a bikini, holding a boa constrictor. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, yeah. Selling uh, washers and dryers back in I believe the the 50s or 60s. Uh, my my grandparents were cool as fuck. In fact, they, if you would put a picture, this picture on this. Sure, sure. Yes, you I know th- what, dude. Honestly, I think I think your grandmother would make an awesome slime, and I say that with all genuine. I mean, thanks. I mean, unless like for those who don't know, that's a reference to uh, reincarnated as a slime. Yeah, which is an anime. Yeah, an isekai. Because your pronunciation is better. Because Bizarrewitz is isekai trash. Thank you for acknowledging it. It is. It's true. <laughs> no, but I, I enjoy the occasional isekai. Are we still running for our lives? Yes. This is not the time for this conversation. But no. I'm, well, shit. Um, but yeah, I love you, Grand Eyeglasses. You fucking rock the most. And now you're with Papa. And that shit rocks. Because you two are my American Gothic grandparents. <laughs> and I love you to pieces. That being said, uh, Sensor Ben, hit him with... Say no to Pot! Uh, ha, ha. <laughs> He's like, oh, Pot makes me feel funny. I can't see. <laughs> Everything smells like stew. <laughs> oh, all that, right, that guy that I killed and boiled in this pot. <laughs> uh, I think it was Stuart Stuart uh, Pricely. I, I don't know. He was. He came in. Sure, it wasn't Stuart Little. No, no, because that's a mouse. This is definitely a human being. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. I like all these pictures. Yeah. We need to. If we look at one, does it go ooga booga booga booga? You know what's possible. Or like, is there like holes cut out behind one with the Scooby Doo eyes following us? <laughs> da, Whoa! Da, 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 the da, eyes da. are like following ba, me everywhere. Ba, ba, ba. Hey, Scooby! <laughs> you <got> a <laughs> <laughs> That's not my favorite Scooby Doo uh, intro. My favorite Scooby Doo is that the '83 one. The one started out. Bow, 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 that is a good bow, one. That is a good bow, one. Bow, 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 Scooby, Scooby Doo. You know, honestly, I have I have a, a fond place in my heart for a pup named Scooby Doo. Okay, who doesn't? I mean, for, it was the best Fred. <laughs> you know, he was, that is true. He was obsessed with the red hair. Yeah, it was great. You know, it Scoobs and Shags were Scoobs and Shags. Uh, Little bitty, bitty Velba. I mean, who doesn't love little bitty Velba? That Daphne is Daphne. Yeah. <laughs> well, not only that, it's, it's the place where we fr- where we learn Scooby Doo's full name is Scoobert. I think it might actually uh, been announced earlier than that. Really? Yeah, I think when he met his like uh his backwoods uh, cousin, cousin? Mm. Uh, which I can't remember his name. Oh, uh, was it Doofus Do? I don't know, but he's not. <laughs> He'll eventually be tattooed on my arm. Oh, that makes sense. But not till Dynamut's tattooed on my arm. Oh, Dynamut's going to give priority out. Dynamut and Ayn and uh, Peter Puppy from Earthworm Jim. At- okay, first I'm off, a little lost. I'm going to admit that. If y'all don't know, I've got cartoon dogs tattooed all over my arms. And I plan on getting 213 more cartoon dogs tattooed on my body before I... Well, I mean, what's, what's it called when an undead creature dies? Um, realiving is sent to the the abysmal plane of death and decay, mm. referred to as the upside down and stranger things. <laughs> oh Uh-oh. shit! Uh oh! This guy, you know again? that music? You know what it means? Can we give him like a different theme music that like come like starts playing, but he's getting closer? This one's getting old, right? They you know, like uh, apparently it took I mean, too long because not uh, like the scat so- man. Or, Obviously not. No, but uh, something, something unexpected. It smells like something is burning. It's this fat. Oh God! Somebody st- stuck a firecracker in that man's ass. <laughs> we need to get this man to a medic. It's blown out like he fucked a hand grenade anally. Oh, Sizzabit! How could you do this to that man's bum? 
I mean, we need, we need that censored, by the way. Uh, weird, <laughs> weird in editing. If you could censor that man's bum, it's all blowed out. I mean, you know he's still wearing pants. Well, you know it's like an Audi that's now an any. I mean, an any that's now an Audi. Wait, who's wearing pants? The guy in the fireplace is still wearing pants. Easy fix. Whoa. Oh, like you've never taken off a dead man's pants before. All right, let's see if this works. I'm coming for you ever so slowly um, I creep. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. He stabbed you in the cover. How did he know I was there? It's it's just like that time in front of the 13th all over again. <laughs> this is how Jennifer's story ends. I mean, if we're being honest, like, the the odds are stacked in Jason's favor in Friday the 13th, the game. Yeah. Bye. You'd never catch me. Slow down, please. I want to stab you so badly. I'm not gonna hurt you. Come. I'm just gonna stab you. Come back here, you c- <laughs> <laughs> Like a giant record scratch. Do you remember when uh, Yeah, yeah, no, I remember, I remember. I know exactly what you're it's talking about. It's Dr. Psycho! You know, I've never heard of that that uh, DC character before. Uh, uh. But I I do enjoy him a lot in that show. Yeah, Dr. Psycho is definitely D-list. Not my favorite character of that show. Well, obviously not. Um, I mean, who do, who, who do you think my favorite character is? Joker. Nope. You would you'd think. But well, no. it's out for one thing is Alan Tudyk. Oh, yep. then is it the other Alan Tudyk character? I mean, it's a really great one. <laughs> but no, I have to say my favorite is King Shark. Actually, that makes sense. King that Shark fits. cracks me up every time he says something. It's always delightful to hear him talk. That's I love him. I love the actor that plays him. Uh, uh, who ironically was in Powerless. Yeah, also playing that. somebody oh, that lived in the go. ocean. Oh, damn it. Uh-oh. It's fine. Can we push a bookshelf on him? All home alone style? I wish. Oh, no. It's, it's chitons for you, broad. What's with you and all the sex is misogynistic terminology? <laughs> Come back here, sugar tits. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Scissorman. <laughs> this is the 90s, man. I'm laughing. It turns out he's actually like that one year old that's in fourth grade somehow this is man this is the 90s you cannot start you cannot use that we, the misogynist terminology not me scissorman said it i was talking to scissorman ah uh, fuck you you fucking feminist pansy kaiju <laughs> did you just call me a kaiju yeah is that like you know that's what you call like Jewish people when you don't like them, right? No. That's like Godzilla What's, what's the word stuff. you use for that, then? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm not telling you whatsoever. It's a kite. You know the things you fly in a park? Sure. Close enough. Because I do not want you to use the actual term. <laughs> no, the, I forget what movie or cartoon that's from. Oh. It's like, why are you gonna fly a kite, you, t you stupid kite? Are you, did you mean to call me a beep? <laughs> right? Yo, what would I say? It's a kite, like the thing children fly, and Benjamin Franklin tied, made his son tie a key to <laughs> and fly in a lightning storm. Damn it, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Run around in circles, run around in circles, run around in because I can't go any I can't do what I need to do until I get away from this guy turns out he just really wants to like come and like give you a haircut he comes up and like trims it and makes it a nice barb well I know he won't go in here so this will give us a, a second to think hmm I just wanted like a scooby doo montage of him chasing you all through this room <laughs> through all the different doors do we have enough footage for that I mean, at this stage, yeah, probably. Weird, if you can make that happen, that's amazing. If you can't, don't worry, buddy, you're trying. <laughs> I've tried to, a new tactic of encouraging weird instead of threatening to flush him out airlocks. You know what, I'm sure he appreciates that. But if this doesn't work, I'm chopping him to pieces and flushing him down the toilet. Yeah, you know, he can still hear you, right? Edit that out, weird. <laughs> Love you, buddy. <laughs> oh. 
Are we just gonna Is that tar? Really sink in there like the dinosaurs? That's a like, hole in the ground, creepy. We're encountering some choppy tar. Everybody grab your handrails. <laughs> okay, so I think I've kind of figured out why the music fades. It's because he's getting further away. He's just like circling Out through there? that main hall. Yeah. He's like trying to chase his own gimpy leg. Oh, you're under the stairs. Yeah. I didn't know that. But yeah, I've definitely seen a Yaki Sax situation. <laughs> or like whatever music they played during Scooby Doo when they're running through doors. Uh, usually that's um, Davy Jones. Like the guy whose locker is at the bottom of the ocean? Like the lead singer of the Monkees. He's. Is it the same guy? Yeah. Oh, Davy no, Jones' no. locker? No, yeah. it's not the same guy. He just happens to be named Davy Jones. Or is it? Maybe he's like, you know, got like a sea pirate curse, like it, like uh, that, that movie with uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, I'm gonna say the the Keith Richards pirate. Yeah, it's played by Johnny Depp. Literally, Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, you you didn't want to actually say the name. Oh, is that what is that what you're saying? You but Jack Swallows. The... Sure. Well, I think it's... that might be. I think you might be thinking of like potentially a. a Let's say it's Jack, a small bird name, right? It's Swallow, right? Pigeon, Jack Pigeon. <laughs> Jack Pigeon, huh? Jack, uh, Jack, uh... Oh, what was the bird I had as a child? Jack Parrot? No, no. Uh, there's a child. Parakeet? The parakeet, yeah. Jack Parakeet, that's it. Oh, uh, he's gonna stab in me the again. Black oh, no, no, no. If there's nothing, push him down the hole. No. Remember, we learned that trick from Solid Snake. David Hayter's summer going... You did good, kid. You did good, Jennifer. All right, I lost him. Otacon, this Jennifer bitch is stealing all my moves. But she's making it look damn good in that red dress. Uh, Snake, you do know she's 15. I mean, uh, uh, well, you have a crush on your daughter. Uh, my sister. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 2 was weird. Yeah. But I don't blame them. They had to, like, cut, like... Half to a third of the game out because of freaking. Oh, is that what happened? Oh yeah, dude. I figured. Was, I figured today, Kojin was just trolling everybody. Oh no, dude! Like, uh, <laughs> you know, a large part like of New York was supposed to be destroyed by terrorists. Oh. Uh, in the last act, it, it highly involved around New York and not just that oil tanker. Mm. And uh, yeah, all that had to get cut straight after 9 eleven. They oh well, yeah. uh, Hideo yeah. Kojima almost like canceled the game entirely. Yeah, I think I think I heard there were some issues. His developers like, no, no, no. Everything that we're gonna do is like, you can't, you can't not finish this. We're just gonna make some extreme changes, and that's why it's not the polished, awesome, you know, vision that Hideo had. Bless well, that man. Well, I mean, what happened with uh, it is because because there were, there was the Sons of Liberty like special edition, the, the, it's like just, a director's cut kind of deal. A little bit, they, but they, they couldn't put like. The massive amounts. So, like, there's a uh, great videos on it by. Uh... Now, did you you know what the best person to ask to hear from is David Hater himself on Did You Know Gaming? Mm, okay, check out did, all the Metal Gear stuff on Did You Know Gaming. You'll learn some really cool shit. That's where I learned a lot of it. That and uh, you know, like our good friend uh, Mr. Fox well, yeah, is actually. like a huge Metal Gear fan, and he tells me all the stuff that I don't know. Um, actually, you know, it's, it's funny. Like, I know we were talking last time about, uh, voice actors. There's one book missing. Oh, I know this puzzle. I solved this in Resident Evil. You put the, uh, the book after you take the V-Jolt and read that, you put the red book in it, you rearrange it, and it makes a naked lady. <laughs> and then we find Plant 42. And we get the helmet key. And then we get to go back to the mansion. One of these books is not like the other. One of these books is, is porn. This the right place? Books on alchemy. Yeah. Don't let the Elric brothers in here. They might do something crazy like trying to bring their mother back from the dead. But what I was saying, though, was that uh, we were talking about voice actors yet last time. And oh, yeah. I had forgotten to mention that without ever actually knowing it, I hung out with the voice actor for uh, Piccolo, Scott McNeil. That's awesome, right? Just at an anime convention, and he's just outside smoking a cigarette and drinking. 
and we got to talking. I had no idea he was Scott McNeil until afterwards. See, I, in my youth, when I was still a young, uh, non vitally challenged lad, uh, <laughs> vitally challenged. Yes, I uh, grew up and knew uh, the voice of Gohan and Goku. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Mel- I uh, oh, there we go. Melody and uh, Melody and Sean Schimmel. And, Box uh, on the bookshelf. I can't reach it. Then me and Doctor Jones one night went to a bar, and got drunk with uh, the voice actor for Havoc from Full Metal Alchemist, nice. which was awesome. We bought his uh, we bought yeah. his album. Which dude's an amazing musician. If you didn't know, check him out. I don't remember his name right now because oh, oh, it's an old lambs and the condom. brain damage and the worms that ate that part of my brain. But <sighs> it's an old oh, lambskin oh, condom. You found a map. The Barrows family genealogy. Ew, gross. What's this mark? Oh, this is the incest. It's a circle. <laughs> it just says they all keep sleeping with each other. Someone has been barked in red. Oh. Thirteenth generation Barrows. Quentin Barrows. It says traitor. Quentin Barrows Tarantino. I always knew that guy was weird. Makes sense that he's related to these scissor killers. You now have genealogy. All right. <laughs> you now have genealogy. Like you have the science of genealogy at your disposal, at your powers. You have the powers of a god. <laughs> Start rearranging people's DNA at will. Hi, Zelda. Zelda's like you're all excited. Zelda, my living pupper, come here. And she walks away. No, she's coming. Come here. Get up here. <gasps> my booze. Oh no, You're fine. what a tragedy. That's How fine. horrible. I'll just pop through the scuttle hatch at that liquor store that's closed down the street and problem solved. Here we go. But do now. I'll be like, I'll be right back. FT. Hey, look, that guy's asshole's done smoking. It's okay, dude. It happens to me every time I eat Chipotle, too. Oh, no, Tim. <laughs> they stuffed him in the fireplace. It's going to go in that montage from Revelance. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I found out that Santa was stuck in my chimney and rotting. <laughs> I went to the park. And there was a man dressed like Abraham Lincoln. He was like a little girl. Cameras on the floor. It's a professional oh. kind Tim was using. Oh, wait, that's Tim. He's the one that took like this. Oh, I, I like Tim. Tim. He was a good guy. Yeah. Oh, Tim. Aw. Poor Tim. We're gonna need another Timmy. <laughs> All right, and I got matches. On fire with the references tonight. <laughs> There's some matches on the floor. You now have the matches. You know, like in Dungeons and Dragons, you always get like a small villager to like carry your all party <laughs> stuff for you to stay outside the dungeon. Like a Sherpa? Yeah. Well, like, in our games, we always named him Timmy. <laughs> Did Timmy constantly die? Timmy was the... the ha- well, the Timmies were the happenstance of certain unfortunate events always, it seemed. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so we did all of them Timmy. It was like, but my name is my name is Jeremith. So it's <laughs> like, no, your name's Timmy. Pick up that shit. We have a dragon to fight. God. We have a dragon to slay today. And me being the bard, it's all like, Miss, I heard what the paladin was saying. I thought she said the dragon to lay. And now Loot has a 17 year old uh, half dragon daughter. A dragon born daughter. Yeah, that's not surprising at all. But yeah, Loot life is the origin of the uh, bard, you know, sexual relations with the dragon joke. <laughs> Well, it all started as, you know, casting charm back and forth on each other until they both failed their saving throw, casting at the same time, and... Boom. Naked. And the gestation rate right for a dragon is much shorter than you would think. No, that, that checks out. Oh. Dungeons and Dragons. It's not just for nerds anymore. But mainly it's for nerds. No, that's not true. It's for everybody. They nerfed it, so like... I know. I know. Your pet cat can have a D&D character. Just roll the dice at them. I'm sure they'll bat at it. And That's true. They'll just go like. <laughs> I mean, a lot of times they just want to jump up on the table and try to like knock over all the miniatures. And I'm realizing that. nobody probably heard heard me like slapping my leg in my hand against my Weird's leg. Weird's got you, dude. That's true. Weird's a master in fully sound effects. 
You really are trying to go with a compliment. No, no, that, that's the one that he's actually got down. Okay, fully. okay, okay. That part of the figure cloning process and, you know, portion of inserting that microchip into the brain worked flawlessly. <laughs> Blackberry's Quinn Barrows. He's the 13th generation. Makes me proud as an ex Foley artist myself. But, oh, wait, did you just. A note is stuck to the back side of the portrait. It's hard to read, but it says, Danger is near. I've hidden the map of the library. But we already went to the library, and all we found was a stupid genealogy. We didn't go to the library. Well, then what was that room with all the books? <laughs> a room with books? Isn't that called a library? <laughs> it can be called many things. It can also be a study. <laughs> like the library, you know? Like the home of the bib biblioteca. I hope people in the later time will may discover the door and expel the devil children from this world. Quentin Barrows. Quentin wanted to expel demons from this world? I think he's referring to, like, Scissorman and his brother. You are expelled, demons. You can't mm -hmm. come back until next semester. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, this I is have a bad feeling about this. You're going to say Scissorman's going to show up again, aren't you? I feel Scissorman's appearance has been gone for a bit. I've been a little lacking. That's I'm true, he has. pretty sure that he's like hiding in a closet going, This is going to be so fucking great. This is going to be so fucking good. Eight times she walks in here. It's going to be the one room we don't walk in. Oh, is this a confessional? Father, I have to confess. I was going to date a 45-year-old man. He was like 22. What? No, he was like in his 30s at least. No, no. You look up the official character, he was like in his early 20s. Really? Yeah, yeah. Still pretty bad. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not going to deny that. Like, not even close will I deny that. What's behind this door? Uh, that's the kitchen. kitchen. Oh, look, there's something in the corner. Yeah, that's a can. It's not Green beans for, or though. peaches. There's no label on it. It could be anything. It's the mystery. It's dog food. It's just dog food. <laughs> <laughs> mystery solved. Uh, All right, yeah, no, I was pop totally pop. dog food. <laughs> okay. This lady is not in the field track. This is lady is not in. Oh, what a night. You have the wedding singer stuck in your head now, don't you? Oh, so John Lovitz? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's a gem. I love John Lovitz. He needs to be in more things all the time. Agreed. Here's my favorite part of Rat Race. You know, I still haven't seen Rat Race. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, I guess you might not be able to make it home before the sun comes up. Because guess what we're doing after this recording? Oh no, I'm not sticking Oh, to yes, you rat are. Race. You're about forced you to watch Rat Race. <laughs> like the, the Dahmer meme right now. It's like, you can go right after you watch Rat Race. Oh, that's right. You have actually watched Dahmer. Huh? I watched some of it. It's pretty. It's, it's, I mean, not to advocate, you know, that serial killing is a good thing. But, you know, you advocating for serial killers? Never. It's not like Dexter Morgan is my personal spiritual hero. Uh huh. <laughs> He's such an absolute dreamboat. <laughs> <laughs> Who? That's a uh, Back to the Future. Yeah, right? Lorraine. Yeah. yeah, fucking love that line. <laughs> it's such a great. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, uh, you had to fucking say something. Hide inside Tim's butthole. I'm not gonna hide inside Tim's butthole. It'd be funny if you actually like. Be in a much you worse. on it, and she just like does the dive. And... Fuck. What? Oh. I panicked. I panicked. I got too close. Now he's gonna cut you up into like a lot of little Jennifers. He's gonna like pull them all out. You know. Like the scissor paper people? Oh, that's uh, uh, not it's not origami. Damn it! What's the word I'm thinking of? Oh, you actually know the word for doing that? There is a word for it, like scissoring. Is that it? No, that's definitely not the word. Creepy. Wait, so like lesbians don't just get together and then make like little paper art with scissors? Is that what you think that lesbians did? Yeah. God. <laughs> is that is that all what that means? Dude, you did die in the nineties. I died in, like, the 1960s. Oh, okay. Dude, it was Woodstock. This guy said, here, smoke then this have... flower. And I was like, I took it. He, I was like, what kind of flower is this? He goes, it's a tulip bulb, man. I was like, wait, did that? And then, like, I died. And then I woke up in front of an Eldritch Horror. 
And it was all wrong. It said things that made my head like bleed from the ears and eyes. But then he was like, he pointed at like a list with a bunch of names on it. And then he like pointed at a hole. And he's like, insistently yelled at me in some kind of to like grab the list and go in the hole. And I did. And I woke up in the attic. And uh, now I've just been kidnapping people off this list. <laughs> and, uh, Make him play video games with me. He did. He, I couldn't understand what he was telling me to do with these people on this list. So I guess he just wants me to get them drunk and play video games and make sure they don't turn into monsters. <sighs> right, anyways, sorry, just, exposition virus. That I, I got a cold that makes me spew exposition. It says, "Take the dry path when choosing among the three. I wonder what this means. The three what? Stooges. Mice of the blind variety? Candlestick holder. Wax is dripped here and there. <gasps> the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick Son baker. Son of a bitch. Oh, we gotta go. But it's yeah, obvious. There's nowhere to go. You'll never catch me alive, scissor man. What? Oh. I was hitting the panic button. He... No, I guess he... I was right about that. He didn't catch us alive. Yeah. Man. I don't think he caught us. I think he just stabbed us with the stitters and just let us fall to the floor. Alright. We got this. See? He just... Light, oh, dude. Hopefully he doesn't come back immediately. <laughs> now that the the rant is over with. The scissor man came back. I thought he was a god or what? The scissor man came back. He just wouldn't stay away. Oh. God damn it. It keeps selecting the same thing. Among the three. Yes, yes. <gasps> what does it mean? I don't three. know. We read it three freaking times. What is three? It's a, it's a symbol. I don't... I can't comprehend. Do you think it's a... A clue? What letter in the alphabet is this three? Because <laughs> she hates there. books. See, if she had not hated books growing up, she would know that three's a number, <laughs> and it means more than two, but less than. Oh, four. You remember that little detail, did you? Oh, I was, I was making jokes with Jennifer. You don't think that I actually forgot how to do? That's fair. Numbers. That's fair. <laughs> okay, this has got to be the right place. Number arranging. <laughs> Books on the occult. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Just like me. Huh? <gasps> it's too dark. Now we light the candle. Because no. now we know it's dark. Because she has to know that it's dark in a fireplace. Okay, so I've done that. It's just a bunch of penises carved into the desktop. Says for good time called Jennifer. Hey, this is my phone number. <laughs> gonna start singing at you. We all guess okay, try, try the great again. stuff is delicious. I'm a singing candle. <laughs> That's it. We just have to fight. Truly. There we go. Candle has been placed in the holder. We fall in love with Scissorman, and the spell's broken, and he turns into a beautiful prince <laughs> and sweeps her off her feet. <laughs> and this has just been a dark retelling of the Beauty and the Beast. See, now you're, now you're just say, saying that this game is Beauty and the Beast, and I don't think it is. For one thing, the Beast never actually, you know, stabbed Belle with a pair of scissors. Possibly his penis, well, but like, never with scissors. Well, it's metaphorical. <laughs> <laughs> it's a video game. They can't actually show him do that, so... The scissors. She's your passage drawn under the fountain. You now have mansion map. <gasps> Just like in Resident Evil. Everything's going to come back to Wait, Resident Evil. Wait, did you Evil light map. something in the fireplace? Yeah, I lit a and, candle. And that gave you a map? Yes. That's what you do on the second floor in Resident Evil <laughs> to get the second floor map. <laughs> 
Just saying. <laughs> I mean, this came out after Resident Evil 1. I've seen a lot of parallels here. Well, I mean, except the entire game doesn't take place here. No. It would been like if at Resident Evil at the beginning, you, like, went and bought donuts and went to school. <laughs> like, Jill had to actually go and do, like, police desk work for, like, the first 30 minutes. I mean, <laughs> that would have made it, made it strange. <clears throat> Certainly would have cha changed the overall vibe, I'd say. That looks just like the founder from Disenchantment. They got everybody sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if there's a door behind that waterfall, <laughs> you have to shut it up by putting an L and no. a battery in a wall. No, we don't. <laughs> okay, so there's a door at the bottom of <laughs> That's where the secret umbrella laboratory is. Ah. This is Lord Spencer's house. This might be the valve to drain the fountain. Oh, wow. Oh, so we're just turning a valve to drain water so that we can access the fountain. Yeah. Like in Resident Evil. <laughs> yes, but we didn't have to find a freaking crank to do so. But now that... Wow, what was that? I thought that was just me that heard that. Did you hear that? I heard it. That was painful. Well, guess what, Creepy? We're in the secret underground laboratory. We're essentially at the end of the game. <gasps> what a thrill. <clears throat> Give my life for honor. But for you. Make it up. Still in a dream. <laughs> Weird had my back on that. Yo, know, I didn't say anything because there's I'm no stopping you at this point. I'm proud of him. He's doing such a good job. You should be proud, too. Oh. Edward. Edward. Dewey? Elric? The little boy. boy. Oh. Go back to the well, she's dead. I need your body parts so I can make mother. Mm -mm. He's going to be like, eavesdropping is rude, little Jennifer. I'm here so I can... Cut your hair. <laughs> I'll just go. Yep. Oh, it's that song from that. <gasps> what have you done, little man? Kick him in the balls. Kick him in the nards. So wait, what am I supposed to do here? Throw something at him. The music's getting louder. It's you, Edward. <laughs> oh my god, it was the little kid. Is finally out, Jennifer. Well, my... <gasps> Daniel Barrows. Edward, what? Dan. Dan. <gasps> Danny Sex Let's play again, Jennifer. No. Oh, the audio is off. Remember me now. Uh oh. Nolan Jennifer. North! Well, see, now I'm getting all kinds of mixed messages. That's dang. Uh, just uh, a hole uh, about 30 centimeters wide. Just big enough for uh, someone to stick their dick in. Get over here. Stick your dick in the hole. Pause. It'll be Shit, glorious. I can't pause. Shit. Um, the inventory screen um, pauses though, doesn't it? Star plate. Maybe. Oh. Oh no. I'm dead. Shit. Step, 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 step. Oh. What? I mean, not step, 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 step. I mean, like, Hit press it. the button a lot. And don't let him stab. Right, that's exactly what you meant since you went to school with Scissorman. No, that doesn't mean I want him to succeed. He was kind of a douchebag and always looking down on me. <laughs> oh, he was always right. cooler, hanging out with, like, you know, like, the Voorhees brothers and... Wait, what statue? Did I miss? Oh, damn it! I think I missed something. What? Can we just replace this music with Thumbaloo just to make me feel better? No. <laughs> so it was you, Edward. Kick oh, that the statue! Damn it! You had it all along. 
From Street Fighter Alpha. <laughs> my balls haven't dropped yet, but one day I'm be a great fighter no, like me. Ryu. No. So you remember me now. Okay, so apparently the work. issues that I've been hearing that no. Weird's been hearing with the uh, the audio being so off in in the game have just been the game. Just yes. Quiet. Because this is a polished, you know, five-star product. This really holds the room together now. Look what I've done! I've redecorated your dungeon! Take that! Uh oh Open the door and show me the way. Not she did not me. eat shit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what she just said. Oh! How do I make it stop? <laughs> Wait, I don't have a. S How do I make it stop? Jennifer! Oh! No! Oh shit! And now she got sucked back into the medieval times. Um, I didn't have a freaking dagger. Oh, yeah. So we did it. We did. But we, we didn't get. It, but we didn't get the A ending. Portal opens up in the attic. Jennifer flies in here with scissor man. <laughs> Ew, it's so dirty. Oh, shink, fuck, shink, I knew it. Shink, 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 shink. I knew this was all tied to the Eldritch Gods. <laughs> Wait. It says here that Dan Burrows... His name's on my list. <laughs> oh, god damn it. But yeah, we did it. We beat Clock Tower. Mm. Yo, he, listen up, here is the story of a little guy and all of his things are blue. He lives in a blue world with the Smurfs and they all have blue Kool-Aid. <laughs> that was really forced. <laughs> my shoes buckle Velcro and tie. Oh, yes, they That's do. That's better. Oh, That's better. That's much better. Buckle Velcro and tie. But we did it. We beat... Clock Tower. Not the ending I was hoping for our main character, Jennifer, but since we never see her again in the series, it seems like a, a fitting end. Considering you can't stand her. Now, uh, get the fuck out of my attic, Jennifer. Scissorman, you're allowed to stay. Oh, God. Fine. But I want to get back to Europe. Well, tough shit. You're wherever that opens to. <laughs> Hope your penis runs away permanently. Whatever. My penis is, uh, and his army will choke you to death. <laughs> and it's not gay or pedophilic because it, it's murder. I'm They're 15. murdering you. Yeah, it doesn't mean. So, all right, it's. What is it called when you murder uh, a teenager? Other it's than a still good time? Murder. Oh. It's. That, that's gotta go. <laughs> Obviously. But look, look at all these wonderful people that worked on this horrible game. Good job, guys. Uh, I think I think you just call I think you just call it a horror movie, a slasher, a slasher it, movie. It was slasher where the, the slasher his balls hadn't dropped yet. <laughs> it's like the oh, this is the good son. This is just the good son with scissors. <laughs> it was Macaulay Culkin the whole time. It was Macaulay Culkin the entire time. That would be great if like then now I want to rewrite time and like cast Joe Macaulay Culkin to play the young scissorman. You know, it chased, you know, 15-year-old girls around a castle. Yeah, I don't think he would do it now, though. Like, uh, re rewriting time, sure, but... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that, that would also mean, like, 97 Colkin, and he was already, like... Do you still have Cronus's number saved in your phone? <laughs> oh, let me see. Oh, let's see. Uh, yep, right here. 555 Time God, but without the E. I'm to suck today's dick. <laughs> yeah, I've seen Cronus. Doesn't that involve like multiple tentacles? It's not a dick, like in the traditional. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like a bunch of tentacles. It's it's a vortex. That's I, I don't want. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It'll be fine. But it's worth it to get Macaulay Culkin play a movie where he's scissor man. We just gotta make some tweaks to the good side. It'd be easy. I don't know. I mean, I I think I think with Macaulay Culkin now he could play. Uh... It's just a Frankenstein mask and a pair of hedge clippers <laughs> and uh, 
whatever dude from ACDC's like little boy suit. Angus Young. Angus Young, yeah, it's just his suit. Schoolboy outfit. Don't call it a little boy suit. <laughs> that's what it is. Though. But don't call it a little boy suit. It makes it sound weird. <laughs> it is a weird thing. That's why it's a little boy suit. <laughs> what? That he's dressed like a like JoJo. Yes, JoJo. Like the JoJo? No. Like a JoJo. Like. You know people's names are actually JoJo in reality, right? No. Yes. That's a cartoon name. Like Bugs. Or, you know, Daffy. Or, you know, uh, Marvin. They're not real people names. They're all cartoon names. <laughs> Did you just say Marvin wasn't a real person name? Yeah, I mean... When was the last time you met somebody named Stimpy? Or Dave? They don't know a Dave. I do know a Dave. Right? Dave's not here, man. There's no Dave's not. That's how here, you pronounce man. that. It's not Dave. It's Dave's not here, man. No, you're right. You're right. You can't abbreviate Dave. Dave's not here, man. Is Dave? That's a cartoon character. Are, are you gonna actually like drink? No, I'm waiting for the end of the game for this shot. You're waiting the exact. To the yeah, exact we're going to the credits. Hirohoto Takashimi Takashi Takashi Aki Takashi Joy Takahashi Takazoi. I'm practicing my Japanese. How am I doing? Better. Better. Koji Nikura. 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 Like, alright. I mean, this is still, you know, the Romanji lettering. Chiharu. Sugiyama. Sugiyama. Yoshitaka Abe. Yoshitaka A. Abe. Yoshitaka A. I like it. It's a good name. Damn it. It's like, uh, you know, like the... The dragon god that also has a Hawaiian themed burger restaurant named Ba and his name's Baja Matt. <laughs> <laughs> he wears a uh, flowery shirts and sandals. Plays that by guitar. human. It's basically a the Margaritaville guy crossed with the god of dragons. You mean Jimmy Buffett? Yeah, Jimmy Buffett. Presented by Human. <laughs> Yay! We got a B. Survivor like unidentified. Ooh, but that's one way it could have ended. Let's do the Scooby Doo ending. <laughs> Open the door and show me the way. Mm ha e sh. This is the place where many mangled male and female bodies are being found. The search for more corpses still continues. <laughs> and this is another way it could have ended, but here's how it really ended. Diddly, 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 diddly. Oh. Hey fellas, you want to take a look at this? Early Renaissance, I think. Raphael or Piero della Francesca? Huh. No, I believe it's one of the Fettuccinis. <laughs> well, that sure was fun, Bizarre Wits, watching those other alternate endings. But you be the one that decides how that story ends because the sequels are never going to address it. We're going to forget that it ever happened and we're moving on. You can't do a damn thing about it no matter how much it pisses you off. So uh, keep it fucking creepy. Later. Good dog.